are your friends really your friends or do you have to cut them off well let's let science decide one researcher argues it's best to think of our friendships on a continuum so the bare minimum is that two people like each other and there's a frequency of communication in a series of surveys it was found that people need to spend between 57 and 164 hours together to become friends which ramps up to roughly 200 hours to be considered a good or a best friend so putting in the hours does matter which is probably why loads of us are partial to having a work bestie this is the worst <laughs> However, being forced into each other's company through work or study actually does nothing for friendship formation. Rather, it's all about involving the person in the day-to-day -day affairs. So we are considerably more likely to spend time with people who are similar to us, of course. And anthropologist Robin Dunbar has identified the seven pillars of connection that seem to hold up the most meaningful connections. And we share just one to two with acquaintances and up to six or seven with those closest to us. And these similarities can even stretch to our normal brain activities. So which one of these pillars is most important to you?